Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my choice for a battle belt setup. Stick around. Hey, hey YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Today guys, I'm going to talk about my battle belt or whatever the current term is for such basically it's a way to carry my pistol and extra ammunition in the event I have to defend myself my home at home or to bug out somewhere else this way I can have ammunition readily available and if I don't have enough ammunition on this belt to take care of whatever type of situation I might be in then I guess I'm just in trouble the belt that I bought is a Condor Slim belt and I've added some to it of course uh, different magazine pouches and one thing you'll notice it doesn't all match as far as colors and all that because I just don't give a crap about that but anyway what without further ado let me show you the belt I'll just kinda hold it up here and I don't know the best way to do this on camera but this is it the first thing you'll know is that Condor makes a nice very heavy duty buckle but it's easy to operate but it is so thick look how thick and heavy I mean this is a good quality buckle made out of some type of polymer and it clicks you hear that it clicks in nice and tight no metal to rust um, no parts to wear out any of that stuff this belt um, I'll show you closer, but I just wanted to start at the clip and show you that. Moving around on the outside, you'll notice right here, this will be on my left side, I have two extra holders for two extra magazines for my SD9BE pistol. And each one of these magazines has a 16 round capacity now these had a flap over them I went ahead and cut those off and I don't know if you can see or not I just kinda use my damn big lighter so I wouldn't have any fraying right there but I just didn't like the idea of having to flip these pockets up and then pull them out and worry about doing all that so I just cut the little flaps off and then of course next as you can see I have two double AR magazine pouches and these have these little that you just pull this and pull it down then you can get the magazine out real easy again you just pull that to the side and it comes right out and of course I've got five of these magazines that have a 30 round capacity so that's 120 rounds right there on my belt plus if I double stack the magazine in my rifle that gives me an additional 60 so we're at 180 rounds right there now I usually don't double stack my mags um, when I'm using my AR so typically that'll leave me with five magazines or 150 rounds. Moving on around the belt to the back you'll see I have a knife as a backup. Okay it's kind of like my machete is a backup this knife is a backup to the machete. I'm going to put it down now and show you this knife. This is a Elk Ridge Bushcraft knife. 
and it is 440 stainless steel and uh, I you've you've seen videos I've done before on the Elk Ridge knives and I just love this Elk Ridge bushcraft knife this isn't a review of this knife but I did want to show it to you these things come razor sharp out of the box and uh, I might do a review on it later on and if it had to serve as a zombie killer and again if you want to know my definition of zombie go check out my tie machete video I'll put a link to it right up here somewhere up here <laughs> but anyway this knife the sheath is uh you can wear it drop leg or you can wear it sideways and then of course it does have a it's made out of some kind of the nylon I don't know the quality of the nylon but uh, it, it it sits in there. It's not going anywhere unless I flip that and pull it out. And then moving around, what's on my right side is basically I've got my, it's a drop leg holster. And I'll show you how this looks when it's on and everything and why I have it where I have it. Um, you can adjust the height of this. I could put this uh, holster to where it's up even with the belt, where it'll just actually go through the belt. But I like to have it drop down lower. It has the leg straps on there to keep it secure to your leg when you're moving around. And again, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a moment. I just want to show you also the inside of the belt. The inside of the belt, it already has this nice padding, but then it also has these. So you got Velcro. There's three spots where you've got Velcro that you can put these extra, what I call, comfort pads. And these are on your hips. And then there's one on your back. And then, of course, there's one on the other side. You can take those off if you don't want them, but hey, why not have a little extra comfort? But if you'll notice how thick and how well made this belt is, the belt actually slides through these sleeves here that have the molly. Now this is the side where my drop leg hold. I've got it backwards. I've got it upside down. This is the side where my drop leg holster is. So I don't have anything else on those molly straps. At one point I had a flashlight on there, but it got in the way. Uh, what else to say about it? It's very, very, very well made. It's very, very, very comfortable. It does have the D-rings here on the top. There's one, two, two in the back, and then one on each side. So if you were going to use this in conjunction with some type of armor plating or tactical vest, you can hook them to that so everything is contained. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these AR mags back in here and I'll put it on and show you how it looks when it's on. So bear with me. Alright, before I do that, I do want to cover one other thing. All of these pouches that are on here, all of these mag pouches are also Condor and they're made out of very good, again, high quality materials. Each one of these has Molly on it. So if I wanted to put a single 9 mil clip onto the front of this, I could. I could I could molly other stuff onto that, but then, damn, I wouldn't be able to walk through a door if you keep going, you know what I mean? But also they have drain holes. In my physical condition, this is going to be on me when I'm bunkered down to defend myself from whatever angle. Because if I have to run... To save my life I just can't do it I'm gonna die my only option is gonna be to back up something with this on my belt my gun strapped on my shoulder my pistol strapped down to my leg my knife in my back and also my machete on my back so that's gonna be my last stand because I cannot run my health won't allow it so anyway now let me put it on
And in order to do that, I'm going to have to take off the knife that I'm wearing today, which is this beautiful piece of work right here. I got this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Got some turquoise and some bone, a Damascus blade there. If you want to see more about this knife, I think I still have it. If I do, I'll put a card right up here for you. Uh, if you don't see a card right up here, then I couldn't find that video anymore. I don't think I deleted it. Sometimes I delete old videos. Uh, old videos might they might not do well. So anyway, all right, let me get readjusted here with the camera, guys, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on. All right, guys, I'll tell you what's great about this belt is the adjustability of it. It's so adjustable, and you can add and create your own, whatever works best for you. I uh, would do some shooting. I would do some shooting for you guys today with this stuff, but with ammo the way it is right now, so hard to find. Um, I just don't really have any I can spare. Uh, this drop leg holster, like I say, it has two straps that go around. They're stretchy, but they hold this pistol nice and tight. I hope you can see all that. I might need to readjust the camera. Hold on. All right, is that better? You can see how the pistol is here. It's got a safety strap there. On the front of it, I forgot to point out, there is an extra magazine pouch. So, I've got one magazine in the gun, one magazine here, two magazines readily available here. So that's four total 16 round magazines for my pistol. When I'm carrying the AR and these four, that gives me five available magazines for the AR. So like I say guys, if I can't do what I need to do, with all these ARs, of course I'd start with the AR, then I'd go to the pistol, then I'd go to the machete, and then if I have to, I could reach back here and I can go for the knife. Hopefully I'll never be in any kind of situation where I have to do something like that. But hey, that's why we're preppers, right? That's why we're prepared, just in the event. But let me show you, I don't like to have my pistol way up here. Even with my Uberti, my Old West pistol, with the Old West style holster, I wear it down low. For me, that's just more comfortable to be able to reach down here and pull out like that, as opposed to having to go up here. That's just not a comfortable, normal movement for me. This is a lot faster for me, a lot more comfortable. See how fast I can just reach right there, kind of hangs right right where my ha hand is so all I have to do is flip that little button right there and then I'm ready to go I can pop that one out grab another one from over here plop it in and then I'm ready to go so that's why I choose the drop leg holster as opposed to a holster that's up here it's personal preference guys whatever you want to do whatever works for you but this belt is very comfortable. You can see the knife back here is easy available. I can reach back here, grab that, pull it out. And everything is just right here. If I need an AR magazine, I can just flip that, reach up, pop it in, boom, 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 boom. Drop that, reach over here, grab another one, pop it in, boom, 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 boom. You have to work with what works best for you and that's what I've done, and this is what works best for me. I can get that back in. Oh, got to get that out of the way. Duh. But I do like these little pull tabs right here. They keep the magazines in, but they're easy to just pull and get access. And they're easy to just push back up. So, anyway, that is my battle belt set up. Hopefully, I'll never be in a situation where I have to use it. This drop leg holster, I mean, it stays with me. It doesn't hang and swing and dangle. and It stays right there on my leg. I don't know if you can see that on film or not. But it's not going anywhere. 
usually the range is right here where I'm standing, but I do practice with this system, switching out mags, you know, from here and here, and that's something that you need to do, guys. You need to practice. There's no point in having this stuff if you're not going to know how to use it, if you ever have to use it. Like I say, I hope I'll never be in a situation where I need this so much ammo to protect my life or my family's. But damn it, if it happens, I'm ready. So leave me some comments below if you uh, have any suggestions. Tell me what you think. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. I would greatly appreciate it. That'll let YouTube know that people are interested in what I'm doing. So, till next time guys, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.